Okay. So you're giving your man an ultimatum. Why? Yes. Well, so I pushed out three kids. Uh -huh. I feel like um, a woman's ultimate sacrifice is childbirth. Mm -hmm. And if you want five kids, we already have three. If I'm pushing out these kids, I feel like I should, I deserve a ring. Mm. Okay. So he wants two more kids? Two more kids, okay. Got it. How do you feel about that? Do you want two more kids? Um, I, I did, but my last, my last child, I almost died. Mm. So it was so just like, sorry. it was like scary. So I'm like, you're kind of iffy right now. Yeah. Got it. Okay, then. How does Rome's um, reluctance to propose make you feel? I when whenever I bring it up, he it's like he gets irritated. Mm. So it like it hurts my feelings. I'm not gonna lie. Like when I'm like I'll playfully be like, like yeah, just be like, <laughs> hey, like <laughs> when is this gonna happen? Yeah. Like, are you gonna do this? Or I'll be like, I'll show him like videos of people being like proposed to. And he'll be like, the more you ask is gonna like hold off because like you're asking and you can't make me, you can't, you can't force me to do something. Mm. Like it's on my time. But I'm like, it's not just on you. Like we should be able to talk about this. We should be able to like come to an understanding. Yeah, communication and about it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So what happened if Rome doesn't meet the timeline? Oh, he gotta go. He gotta go. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Like, yeah. he's like the only man that like, I see myself being with. The only person like I've ever just like actually, like I've, this is my first relationship for real. So it's like, I want this, like this is all I want. Yeah, this and is like, all you want. And you have three kids together. Exactly. So you're like, I want to build a future with you. Exactly. You want that commitment. Exactly. Okay, how does Rome's love language compare to yours? Mm. He, he likes physical touch. Uh huh. And I'm not used to that because okay. I come from like a family that don't really like, well, a mother that didn't really like say, like, I love you. Mm. And like, didn't like hugs or anything. Like, I don't, I'm not used to that. So when we got together and that's all he wanted to do is just like, I'm just standoffish. And I feel bad because like, he'll feel like I don't like him or I don't love him. And that's not the case. Like, mm -hmm. And so what does he say? Do you express to him and tell him, like, this is because of the way I was raised. It makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. He's very understanding. I've compromised, and I'm starting to be a little more touchy. Mm -hmm. But, like... Okay, well, at least you're doing your part. Exactly. Okay. How old are your children again? My daughter, my oldest daughter is five. She just turned five, and my son is three. three. And my baby just turned one. Oh, so you got your hand. Yeah. Oh, those babies are beautiful. <laughs> Oh, so you got your hands full. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. like, full, full. <laughs> yeah. Them babies following you around everywhere. Five, three, uh, and one? I'm, uh, I was stressed. I, I can I imagine. Them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed them. Because uh, um, I can only imagine. Hold on, talking, going back to this touch. He wants you to touch. Are you touched out? Because yes. I know they're touching you all day long. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm so touched out. You touched like, out? Yeah. Like, every day, it's mom. He'll be right there. And they'll come straight to me. He's like, stop doing that. I'm right here. And I'm just like, go to your father. Yeah. I'm like, go. Do you feel heard? <sighs> kind of. I'm taking no. this uh, yeah. as a no. <laughs> not like, really. you said it all right there. You <laughs> said <laughs> Like, mm, not really. Yeah. Do you feel like you have childhood trauma that is affecting you? Yeah, a okay. lot. I was physically, verbally, and mentally abused. Mm. Thank you for sharing that with me. Um, because it just gives me context of like where you're at and why things are important to you. Well, I think everyone, it's time to meet Rome. So please welcome Rome to the social media here. His side is for You two get into heated arguments daily? Yes, we argue like around two or three times a day. Mm -hmm. And it's most of the time it's never even anything like serious. But then it'll just, it'll start from something small and it'll just gradually just get worse and worse. What's triggering your arguments? Um. I'm, I'm not really sure what actually like triggers it, but like anytime we disagree, it just, it's just not a good scene. Got it, got it. And I know she gave you an ultimatum recently. Yes. And do you remember what the ultimatum was for? Um, I had to propose before mm -hmm. the beginning of the year, this year. And did you? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> is that what one of the arguments is about? Uh, a lot of times, yes, that's yeah. the argument. The, a lot of times? Yeah. yeah. Because she wants something more. Why do you feel like you can't give it to her? Um, it's not that I don't want to give that to her, because that's also something that I want, too. Mm -hmm. But, like, I want us to be in, like, a good space together before I, like, take that next step. I don't want it to just be, like, uh, like, forced. Even though that's something that I want, sometimes it's, like, uh, like a like a push, mm. and I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm doing it for the wrong reasons. I want it to be when I feel like it's the right time for us to take that step. Okay. Um, how has this tension in your household um, affected the intimacy between y'all? Um, once there's a argument or disagreement or like any back and forth, the, it's like the intimacy just takes a hit. And it's like a hard hit. Yeah. It'll be like uh, weeks. Weeks. Or sometimes months. Months. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. Is that true? Yeah. Uh-huh. Sometimes I just like, I don't feel like it. Yeah. You describe your lady as quick-tempered. Explain. Um, so, say if we are having a small argument about, like, say, something like, if I say, can you put the rinsed off dishes on this side and the dishes that aren't rinsed off on this side, and she doesn't do that, I'll say, uh, like, I'll bring it up and say, like, can you start doing this? And that can just... Escalate. No. Escalate. Okay. Yeah. It's, the, it's the way he say stuff. Like, he don't, <laughs> he don't know that he has, like, a tone, like, aggressive tone to him. Uh -huh. And it's like... Who wants to hear you like talk like that? Do you feel like, like you got aggressive tone? Uh, I know I do. Uh. I, it's like, <laughs> like, it's like I try to. You talking about yeah, I know. I try to like tone it down because it's it's not me like being aggressive. Uh -huh. My voice just like gets aggressive. Yeah. Uh huh. So why don't you go on dates? Like it's something that I want to do too because I like spending like one on one time with her. But now it's hard to do it like financially, if that makes sense. It's do you just not want to propose because you're not financially stable? That's part of the problem. Got it. Do you feel loved in this relationship? For the most part, sometimes it's mm -hmm. kind of shaky a little bit. Mm. Did you hear that? Yes. What do you feel about what he just said right there? I don't agree. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like I've been I feel like I've been doing a lot trying to um, love you how you want to be loved. I agree. What can she do to make you feel more loved? Um, just like words of affirmation. It is sweet, right? <laughs> There's like young couple. I mean, because all I see with y'all is love, respect, and care. <laughs> like, you're 23, you're 24? Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all something, when I was 23 and 24, me and my partner was not talking to each other like that, and we ain't had no kids. And like, <laughs> y'all are so respectful and loving of each other. And like, is this how it is at home? Yes. For the most part. I believe it. Like... I believe every <laughs> single bit of this. I mean, the thing here for, for me is I see two young people who are still trying to figure out how to deal with life and how to deal with like past stuff that happened, particularly you. And then here you are, you've now taken on this responsibility with a woman you love, with your kids, and you're trying to figure it out. And you're, you're doing a damn good job for more men than I know that's 30, 40, 50. Like, <laughs> while over here trying to figure out, like, how do I take care of my girls' needs? How do I take care of my own financial needs? How do I take care of my needs? How do I go after my passions? How do I take care of these kids? And you're doing the same thing. You got, you got three babies at home. Y'all are overwhelmed. Through that overwhelm, y'all are trying to figure out what to do. And for you, it seems like the logical next step is we need engagement. Yeah. Because that's going to give us security to know whatever. But I got to tell you something. And this is real. I hope you two do get engaged one day. And I believe you will one day. But I think you also need to recognize that what you have been given in stability-wise is a man that's wise enough to know that there's a lot more steps we need to take before we get to that. And I think 
that should give you the security you actually desire. Because I would be nervous if you had a man rushing into it just because you wanted it. Because what people don't realize is that that piece of paper, yes, might be like, we got a piece of paper, but it comes with a whole bunch of new stuff that you ain't even thought about yet. <laughs> we got married people in here? Um, no, so he's talking about no. We're not talking about you. Don't worry. You ain't getting married. Don't worry. Any other married people in here? Raise your hand. Married? Doesn't marriage come with a whole set of stuff that you didn't even realize? So what I'm trying to say to you is at least he's trying to say, let's be patient with it while also still showing up, while still taking the time to make sure that y'all are there, understanding. I mean, at 23, and I'm giving both of you your flowers. I'm giving you your flowers right now. But at 23, for you to have your trauma and him to still be respectful, 24, to have your trauma without being touched and saying, I'm willing to go months because I love you. I mean, that just shows the respect and care that he has for you. And it's like, okay, let's give each other more grace. Let, let me be there for you. I mean, because you're rushing to something that you don't need right now. What I do think you two all need is some dates. Oh, yeah, I, I think y'all need to be... I think y'all need to be young again. <laughs> I think that's what y'all need at 23 and 24. I think with all these responsibilities and everything y'all doing, I think... Y'all need to be out having some fun. I heard my producer told me that, like, one of your biggest things was you want a picnic date? Yeah. These are simple things that you can do. So instead of asking for an engagement of marriage, ask for more engagement between you two. Okay. That was... That was key. You hear yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that is what something y'all can work on that's actually going to build the strength. Have y'all... Have you feeling more loved? Have you feeling like, oh, I'm not in these walls feeling trapped? Okay, so y'all need to go on some dates. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you some money so I can give you some dates. Okay, <laughs> y'all go on skate. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna pay for a date. I'm paying for a date. I'm paying for a date. Cause you can't have me no more excuses. I'm gonna give y'all a little something so you can pay for some childcare so somebody can watch the kids, and then y'all can go on some dates. And I'm gonna make sure it's enough because I need y'all to go on two dates because I feel two dates. Then y'all can get a pattern, a rhythm of it. So y'all both happy now. You ready to go out? <laughs> I know you ready to go out. I see how fly you walked out here, all right? Thank you. You ready to be out and be seen. I you am. fly, too. Listen, they need to go out, right? Thank you. I see it. Y'all the cute little couple, right? I see it. We all see it. We all see it. Y'all gonna be okay. I'm gonna just give each other grace and just engage, all right? Engage, all right? All right, y'all take care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep checking up on y'all. Y'all gonna be good. All right, friends, stay with us. We'll be right back with more.